Hello, my name is Elizabeth A. Wamsley, and this show is called Garden of Vessels. It's uh, an exploration of clay art. At the show, you will see um, many di different varieties of techniques that I've been using for quite a while. Um, I don't consider myself primarily a production potter. I'm more interested in the sculptural historical aspects of clay. So you will see some stoneware, some raku pieces, some multimedia um, combination of clay and other sorts of media. I've always had a natural inclination for uh, making 3D pieces. And uh, at a very young age, I liked the feel of clay. You know, I started using plasticine and Play-Doh clay. And uh, I remember I made a little reproduction of a Hummel figure when I was in kindergarten or first grade. And my mother and the principal had a kind of a ongoing uh, battle to <laughs> see who would keep it. And, um, but I was fascinated with the 3D form at a very young age. And I just started um, really liking the aspects of clay. Uh, how malleable it is, how it um, has such a long history in the world, and um, how technical it is, is also another thing that fascinates me. It's, there's so many different possibilities. You could work until the end of your life and still learn new uh, processes of firing and glazing and so on. Uh, I do have the piece that's in the front against that pillar, and uh, that one is a combination of past civilizations, and it has some amphorae, amphora, uh, in underglazes on it, and I am fascinated with um, past civilization, Greek, uh, archaeological digs and forms and other civilizations as well. They've always had, everyone seems to have a past uh, with building certain kind of forms in clay and um, different uses for them. So that piece uh, I really like a lot. And it also has some really heavy uh, volcanic ash glaze on it, so it's real bubbly and that kind of relates to the changing of the world that we stand on, you know, as far as the earth heaving and having volcanoes and changing, and we may not realize it every day to day, but it's ongoing. There's, there's always change, no matter how small. So, Another series that I've been doing is a series about the ravens, crows, in the conversations, and I, I adore those pieces, and I have just one sculpture here in the front of the, the gallery. And so I hope you take a look at that and enjoy it. And thank you all for coming to my show and enjoy the beautiful gallery and the surrounding environment. Thank you.